Greetings everybody, my name is Tommy the Keyblade Master and welcome to my channel. Today's the day I go through the classic games on the Virtual Console and the PSN and see if there's any that are new that I have played and if I can give you recommendations. Well, I've already did a full video review on Mario Tennis today, so I'm not going to go through it here. If you want to see my thoughts on it, click on the thumbnail. Now let's get on to the sales because there's a lot of them. The Wii U is having an indie sale. If you buy one indie game or already own one indie game, you can get others at 60% off. As you can see, I have the discount on my little channel page because I do own Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which is a game I hope to review soon. And it's not a little bad platforming game by way forward. I don't plan on getting any of the rest of these, although I've heard Guacamole, the Giant Ghana Sisters, and... Um, Mighty Switch Force are really good games. Right now I'm kind of on a gaming fast until I can get rid of some of my backlog and backload for this channel. Hence why you haven't seen me post any Batman Arkham Knight videos. But those are on sale going on to the PSN. And sorry I don't have any PlayStation footage right now. But we do have a lot of great superhero games. And some of these games that are superhero are a little questionable. We're not talking just comic book superheroes. They do have Mortal Kombat on sale. But the games I'm interested in are, of course, going to be Batman Arkham Asylum for $8. That's a really great price. GameStop's used version is just a little bit lower. But with the digital version, you don't have to worry about the disc being messed up. So... If you want to try this game, $8 is certainly a good price for it. And like I said, no disc having to be messed up. And it's a game that I think is a keeper. It's a really great game. It's kind of an Adult Swim version of Batman the Animated Series. Like if the episode of Batman the Animated Series were made for adults, they had a lot of the original writers, a lot of the original cast back for that game. And it's a really fun game. I do recommend it. They also have some Mega Man games and Mega Man X games on sales for the PS1 and PSP, definitely worth checking out. Now on to the Xbox 360. I haven't done anything with Microsoft lately because they haven't had any good sales. Here they have a bunch and of course I can't recommend all of them to you. You have to be careful with some of these digital sales and make sure that you're getting a good price. Always check used if it's a retail game. For example, Assassin's Creed 3 here, $10 isn't necessarily a bad price for it, but for used price at GameStop, I think it's $5 right now, and it's worth saving 5 bucks on Assassin's Creed 3 if you ask me to go get the used version at GameStop, unless you really want a digital version. The game I want to focus on, though, and give you guys a quick lowdown, though, is The Legend of Korra. That's on sale on both the Xbox 360 and Xbox One for $7.50. I have not completed this game. I bought it for the PS3, and like I said, I don't have it right now, and I didn't quite get it done before I had to lend my PS3 away for a few weeks. But what I have played of it, it's okay. It's not like the world's greatest life-changing game by any means. If you're expecting the storytelling from the series, which is one of the reasons why I hate watching the series, is you sit down to watch an episode, and the next thing you know, ten hours have passed because you've been watched two seasons. That storytelling ain't here. It's the basic run-of-the-mill video game storytelling. Korra has lost all her powers due to some old man stealing them. In order to get them back, she has to go beat a whole bunch of people up and do different things to get her bending back. I only had two of them back by the time I had to lend them away. Water bending and earth bending. From what I could tell, they felt like they were very different ways of fighting. When you choose the earth bending, Korra all of a sudden goes really, really slow in her attacks, but they feel powerful, while water bending seems to be kind of the light quick attacks and the different combos you can learn and do are interesting if it's not a 20 hour game legend of Korra could be a, an interesting pickup i spent more for far worse games especially from activision and nickelodeon like the teenage mutant ninja turtles games i had to review late last february based on the new show Korra seems to be better than those games, provided that it doesn't go on for, like I said, 20 hours. If this game lasts about 4 or 5 hours, that's the exact right amount of game time 
Otherwise, this game's going to get very, very tedious just from what I played of it. Still, I do kind of have a hesitant recommendation towards it for that price. Like I said, you could do do more for worse. There's also the Halo the Master Chief Collection available on Xbox One for $35. That's a good price for it. You get four Halo games. You get crappy online for four Halo games. But you do get four Halo games off of them. And they've been upgraded to the Xbox One pretty decently after you download a really big 18 gigabit patch. No, I ain't joking about the size of that patch, folks. That's what I had to download in order to play it, was an 18 gigabit patch. But if you're a fan of Halo, it's definitely worth a pickup. Anyways, that's the sales and deals for this week. Um, Thank you for listening. My name is Tommy the Keyblade Master, and I'm signing out.